Hey! Hey there. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Welcome to Remaking My Old Songs, the show where I remake all of my old songs that I got made fun of for and I'm still made fun of to this day and you have every right to make fun of me for them because they suck balls. Today, we're remaking a song from my third studio album, Broken. The most broken part about the album is the way that it's written and done because it sucks major balls. I never thought I'd see the day where I, you know, I remade a song, but I'm doing it today because I simply cannot stand the fact that all this potential of something very real that happened to me is made like this. Wanna give you loved, loved, you should feel loved, loved. I mean, this is just terrible. Long, long, long story short, I was a middle schooler. I was an eighth grader. I thought that I should write out my feelings when I'm depressed or sad or upset or mad or angry or desperate. So that's exactly what I did. And then I recorded them because I'm psychotic and thought that people actually uh, thought I was a good singer. Um, I don't know what was going on in the brain there, but I didn't know what I was doing. Go above, above. So here we are. We're on a song loved. You know, it's not good. Who would have thought a 13 year old trying to make a song would do a bad job? There is a lot of potential in these songs that I didn't think actually existed. And then I started like listening to them and I was like, wow, I was really depressed. And these emotions are really genuine. Unlike some of my other albums. Hurt me just as much as I hurt you when I found out we weren't meant to be you. I'm so sorry to the people that have been affected from my stupidity. So, uh, I have the song pulled up. I'm just gonna copy this and we're gonna work with it, even though I really don't want to. Uh, the person that I wrote this about, I know knows that I wrote it about them, but uh, my question is was I dating them at the time? Because um, that's a huge T that we need to know more. <laughs> yes, so I was. This was after I saw um, some self-harming tendencies as a 13 year old. Don't know what to do there, kind of a toss up. Um, other T, I'm moving away at this time from where I was living. And so you have all this information, all this information I think I was just like really overwhelmed. I needed to write about it, so I did. Uh, and this is a about that person who was self-harming and I was like, no, you're love, like, don't do this, this is silly, this is goofy, but <laughs> just like every middle schooler, uh, I too was depressed and wanted to wah, da, <laughs> um, I don't feel like that's actually a thing, but I feel like every middle schooler, like, <laughs> Gen Z middle schooler had the idea and thought, hmm, but what if I did? And, um... It's it's just because we didn't know how to process our emotions. We have a, we have a setup here that you're different in my eyes. You know, I see you differently than all your friends do. Cause I'm better than them. Classic middle school ego. <laughs> what if we changed? <laughs> um. So yeah, I got through all of this. So let's just take this excerpt here. I don't I don't know how I want to rewrite this either. Cause like I don't I'm not obviously I'm not living with those same things that made the first song genuine and if you saw in broken what i kind of did um i remade broken you should go check that out that video is right here right right here um but what i did was i took the lines from the song and i redid everything in a way that was like from the same perspective of the 13 year old who wrote the song but with the mindset that i have now and that almost acts as like an analysis slash satire critique of what I was originally doing. So, if this one, the problem is that uh, the song is bad. I can't obviously break the immersion of the listener by saying, yeah, this is bad, you know? What I can do, though, is I can critique it within the writing or make it super over the top. Can't tell if you're really feeling me. What are you trying to do? Tell me these things. You have these, you know, why do you have these feelings? Let's say you should keep secrets from me. So, there's questioning in this one, but it's about affection, right? There you go, affection. So, kind of just off the top of my head, just going crazy. So, okay. All right, so I have, if love's a gift and you've always got mine, there's presence filled to the brim deep inside. Empathy is your friend, even when you're broken to the core. Even if I don't cry like you, I'll sit with you and mourn. So it's kind of like this idea like, oh, uh, I really do feel with you and hurt with you. And I'm not, you know, like you, I don't self-harm but I can 
I'm here for you. I'm basically I'm here for you. Okay. So if love is not your thing, then I'll give you my support. Very simple, obvious, whatever. If you're crumbling and don't know what life's all for, I'll be here for you forevermore. I'll be there for you. Presents are the surface of what my heart has in store. So basically saying that even with all the love and everything that I'm giving you, I promise that I do know what, how to help or I can try to help if you let me. Uh, uh, it's here. You can hear the sample, which is kind of what I like to live off on on these, which I think the what I was going for could be done better. But lyrical wise, it's just boring. This is hard. <laughs> Writing's hard? What? I have to take more than 10 minutes on a song? A lot of, lot of feel the it feels intimate, but it's not. It's like a serious topic, you know? Take the love, love, but you wanna go <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, if I could go just like back three years and be like, dude, your morals are all over the place. Get it together. <laughs> yes, it's tough, tough. <laughs> oh, there's gotta be something better than that. Yeah, <laughs> love, love, don't be dumb, dumb. <laughs> Live right now, now. It's okay. You don't have to. Put it this way. No, I'm not doing that. That's so corny. God. <laughs> Life is not easy. <laughs> God, I gotta stop thinking of jokes. They just come so easily. It's middle school. <laughs> Shut up. Stop. You're being dramatic. <laughs> oh my God. Just like the worst advice ever. Please stop, um, you're annoying. Your trauma's invalid. Shut up, go home. Maybe that's what I should do for songs I don't want to try on. Just make them joke songs and move on. Uh, like, I'm, I don't, I, I've been listening to some of them after I did the first one, because I was like, well, I should probably study up and, and learn what went well and what isn't good with these songs. And some of them, I'm like, I don't think I can do this. This one I can, because it's like got a strong enough basis. Some of them don't have potential. And I'm like, what do I do? I have a theory. Make them funny and call it a day. <laughs> Take a breath. It's okay. Stop being it's okay. Well, I'm just looking for answers and spots where we're dying. I'm trying, but I don't think that you want that. Why would you not want that? I'm trying to help for the sake of your together but i feel like i'm in your personal hell of wealth but i know that you're in denial but god by distractions and trials of constant pressure telling you to remember to put in more effort when you can't even take care of yourself no oh no no, no. <laughs> jesus do you imagine if i continue with that flow it does get so a lot faster there with the hi-hats because it suggests a new flow hello hi my name is john welcome back to the recording i uh God, it just looks so awkward standing here and I'm already dysmorphic about my body. I said my! Alright, here we go. If love is not your thing, then I'll give you my support. Presence of the surface of what my heart has in store. Your friends are rightfully, your friends are rightfully protected. Your friends are rightfully protective. They love you so your friends are rightfully protective. Your friends are rightfully protective. They love you so much that they get defensive. When they see someone else shoot for the fences, they look at me and they lack perspective. I'll start seeping in. My love perseveres through it all anyway, though I feel it all weakening. They love you so much that they get defensive when they see someone else shoot for the fence. Your friends are rightfully protective. They love you so much that they get defensive. And you fear for my presence, but I'd ever give him my honor. Make you feel loved and you look at negative. The love I have for you is a dip, but not a set of love. my mind loving you even if it's all a relative. God. God bless America. Oh, there's nothing like redeemable about that except for what he's rapping fast.
than you've always got mine There's presence filled to the brim deep inside Empathy's your friend even when you're broken to the core Even if I don't cry like you, I'll sit with you and mourn If love is not your thing, then I'll give you my support Presence are the surface of what my heart has in store Scratches on your hand or a cry for help even if that's not what it's for Can't keep pretending, suicidal tendencies are the norm I suffer from relational blindness I'm looking for answers in spots where we're dying I'm trying, but I don't think that you want that Why would you not want that? I'm trying to help for the sake of your mental health We're together, but I feel like I'm in your personal hell Unwell, but I know you're in denial But God, by distractions and trials of constant pressure Telling you to remember to put in more effort When you can't take care of yourself Your friends are rightfully protective They love you so much that they get defensive And they see someone else shoot for the fences is preventative beside you or not I'll lose my mind loving you even if it's all a relative Love, love, take the love